All right, so buckle up because today we're diving deep, really deep into yeah. inner child work. And honestly, judging by what you sent over, this is something you've been thinking about a lot. Definitely. Which is awesome because it's a fascinating concept, right? It is, yeah. And, and you know, so relevant to, I think, anyone who's ever felt like, why am I reacting this way? Or, you know, my emotions have a mind of their own. It's and like our emotions have their own little autopilot sometimes. Yes. Okay. And they're not always steering us in the right direction. Exactly. And that's where understanding the inner child can be so powerful. Totally. So for anyone just tuning in, can you give us a little inner child 101? Absolutely. So basically, your inner child is that part of you shaped by your earliest experiences, both the good and the bad. And often it's those early hurts, those unmet needs that can really drive our reactions in adulthood, even if we don't realize it. Right. And one of the things that really stood out to me from everything you shared was this idea that we have to become the parent our inner child might not have had. Yes. Because so often those early wounds, they're not our fault. We didn't have the tools or the understanding back then to process them fully. So a part of us, that inner child, is still stuck in those old patterns, those old hurts. It's like they're still reacting as if they're back in that childhood situation. Exactly. Even though logically we know better. Right. And that's where we have to step in as the compassionate, understanding parent we might not have had. Which is such a powerful concept, but it's also... Like, where do you even begin? Well, I think a great starting point is actually acknowledging those feelings, like really letting ourselves feel them without judgment. Yeah. You highlighted this amazing passage about really getting to the root of those wounds. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, I think it was in that article about. Yeah, about identifying the root cause. Was it a specific event, a pattern of feeling unseen or maybe needing to be the perfect child? Pinpointing that can be a huge step towards healing. It's like detective work, but for your own emotions. Exactly. And speaking of emotions, you mentioned going through a breakup and reading through what you shared. It sounds like that fear of abandonment is really present right now. It's, um, it's definitely a thing. Which makes total sense, you know. Breakups can be brutal because they often tap into those primal fears of being unlovable or rejected, especially for that inner child who might still carry those early wounds. Yeah, and it's so easy to just beat yourself up for feeling that way, right? Like, yeah. come on, you're a grown-up, get it together. But that's that inner critic talking, isn't it? Exactly. And this is where we have to be so gentle with ourselves because those feelings, even if they feel childish or irrational, they're valid. They're coming from a real place of hurt. So what do we do? How do we parent that part of ourselves in those moments? Well, first and foremost, we offer compassion. Remember that space capsule analogy? Like, yeah, yeah. With the astronaut freaking out in space. Yes. It's like, hey, little astronaut, I see you. I get why you're freaking out. It's dark and scary out there. But guess what? We've got this amazing spaceship, years of training, and a whole crew to support us. We're going to be okay. Okay, now that's an image I needed today. But it's so true, right? We've got resources. We've got resilience. Even if our inner child forgets sometimes. Yeah. But here's what I love about all of this. It's not just about surviving the emotional storms. It's about using this inner child work to actually thrive. Absolutely. And you, my friend, have some pretty amazing goals lined up, which I'm so excited to see you achieve. The fitness journey, the music aspirations is seriously inspiring. It is amazing how when we start pending to those inner child needs, it's like all this energy that was tied up in protecting and defending, it's freed up to create and expand. It's like you're finally giving yourself permission to not just exist, but to truly live. And reading through your goals, I see this theme of freedom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Freedom to express yourself and be confident, to really chase those passions. Freedom is a big one for so many of us, I think. It makes you wonder, you know, what are we truly capable of when we start healing those old wounds and giving ourselves the love and acceptance we so freely offer others? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? It really is. And I yeah. think that's what makes this whole conversation about inner child work so compelling. It's a journey of self-discovery, healing, and ultimately, I think, unlocking our full potential. I completely agree. And on that note, I think we've all got some inner child parenting to do. We do.